Hey guys, it's Adrienne. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a beautiful tutorial for you. It is boho half up twist. It is one I posted on my Instagram. I'll put a card up here. A lot of you guys said you wanted a tutorial, so it is coming right at you. Anyway, this is a super easy tutorial. All you need are bobby pins. Before I forget, don't forget to subscribe to my channel down there and give this video a thumbs up at the end if you like this hair tutorial. And don't forget to leave me a comment below and let me know what you think or if you have any ideas for future hair tutorials because I'm all ears. All right, let's get started. Okay, to get started, I put dry shampoo in my hair. I like the Batiste brand and I just sprayed it in my roots and then I went ahead and rubbed it in with the pads of my fingertips and yeah. I love these bobby pins. These are the best bobby pins and the only ones I use. I get them at Sally's. The link is down below in the description box. To start this hairstyle out, I'm gonna grab a section of hair on the left side and then I'm gonna twist it back away from my face, loosen it up a little, and then pin it up. Then I'm gonna take a section of hair on the opposite side, do the same thing, twist away from my face, loosen the twist up, and then pin it with a bobby pin on the other side, tucking it just under the first twist. Then I'm gonna go back to the left side, take another twist and twist it toward my face this time. Loosen this twist up. I left my bangs out because I like my bangs out. And then you're gonna wrap it around back underneath the first two twists and go ahead and pin it with the bobby pin. This is why these good bobby pins are so um, important. So it holds up this hairstyle all day. And then I'm gonna take a section of hair from the right side of my head, twist it toward my face, and loosen it up to how I like it. I really like these twists loosened better than being tight because I just feel like it looks better. You can do whatever you want. And then take that twist back behind and pin it underneath the last twist you did. Because this twist was falling further down from the other one, I decided to put a bobby pin in to hold it up a little higher. And that's the finished look. I hope you guys like it. 